what if you could answer every customer call instantly 24 7 without having to hire a single new employee so today in this video i'll be showing you how you can build an ai customer support voice agent that can handle your most common customer support calls with just 15 minutes and you will need nothing but a simple template to build that out you don't need any technical skills or coding knowledge or a big budget to build this you just need 15 minutes of your time i'll walk you through the entire process step by step and by the end you'll have a fully functioning ai voice agent that can take your most common customer support calls the best part is that i'll be sharing the template i'll be using in this video absolutely for free so that you can just fill up the template using your own business information and you can create an ai voice agent for your business right away now if you guys don't know who i am then my name is panzar lok choudhury i build ai solutions for businesses such as ai voice agents ai chatbots and automations that can help business increase efficiencies help them make more money while working less now this is my youtube channel and i have a lot of valuable resources if you're interested in ai and how it can help you grow your business then you might want to check the channel out now before i hop into the tutorial i'll be showing you guys a very quick demo of the voice agent and how it works so that you guys can get a quick understanding of it all right so i'm gonna be calling this store up and let's see who picks up the call there's the number. I'm just making the call. Hello, this is Cole from Brightness Store. How can I help you today? Hi there. Uh, I bought one of your candles yesterday and it's not lighting up. I'm sorry to hear you're having trouble with your candle. Let me help you with that. If the candle isn't staying lit, it might be due to the wick being too long or in a drafty area. Here are a few steps you can try. One. Trim the wick to about one, four inches before lighting it. A long wick can cause the flame to extinguish quickly. Two, make sure the candle is in a location free from drafts as air movement can make it harder for the flame to stay lit. Three, try lighting the candle again after trimming the wick. If you've already tried these steps and the issue persists, please let me know if we can explore other options to resolve this for you. This uh, is helpful. Thank you for that. Also, can you give me some information on your return policy, like how that actually works? Of course, our return policy allows you to return items within 30 days of purchase. Here are the key details. One, the item must be unused and in its original packaging. Two, you will need to cover the return shipping cost, but we will provide you with a return shipping label. Three, once we receive the returned item, we will process your refund within five to seven business days. If you need to initiate a return, you can contact our support team via email at support at brightnessstore.com or by calling plus one eight zero five 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 zero one two three. Does that help clarify? Uh, yeah, knowledge? it does. Thank you for all the information. I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day. Oh, by, by the way, are you an AI? You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. Yes, I am an AI assistant here at Brightness Store and my name is Cole. If you have any more questions. In no, I don't. Thank you and have a good day. Out. Now this is one simple use case, but it can be applied to every niche and in every industry. So if you're watching this video and if you want to build a voice agent similar to this one, then I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can build this up step by step. Okay. So I have created a template for you guys. Uh, you can access this template in the description down below. There will be a link in the description where you can access all this entire template. So this is the template that I've used to create this system from, and you can access this document absolutely for free. By the way, if you want to test out the voice agent by yourself, then there is a link I've provided you here. You can just access the document and then just click here to access the voice agent that I've just talked with. You will also have a step-by-step -step guide in this document on how you can actually set this up. So if it's difficult for you to follow along through the video, then you can actually go through this document and you'll be able to build this out by yourself step-by-step. -step. I can assure you that you don't need any technical experience to build this up and also I've even created some industry specific examples such as like retail e-commerce so this is the prompt that i've used in this uh video okay so you can find the prompt here in this document also and also i've created some uh, extra prompts as well so let's say if you run a restaurant business and you want to uh build a system prompt for your business uh for uh, for your voice agent then you can also copy this template and then fill this up by yourself using your own business information there's also another uh prompt here for a law firm so yeah but anyway, now I'll be giving you guys a very quick overview of this AI voice agent and what are the benefits, the use cases, if you're wondering, like, why do I need them in my business? 
how does it work and what are the benefits okay i'll be answering all these questions very quickly and then we'll hop right into the tutorial so how does it actually work so we'll be using vapi to build the ci voice agent and this will help us automate our customer support calls our faqs troubleshooting and more so if we have customers that have queries regarding our products our services or if they want to book an appointment with us then we can create a voice agent that can do all of that just fine okay so it does provide real-time accurate responses with the conversational tone just like you saw now what are the use cases customer support answering inquiries instantly without wait time so we'll be creating a customer support voice agent for this video but we can also create lead qualification agents such as engages leads and quality collects information and stores them into crm such as google sheets hubspot any crm you want we can build that out now appointment booking order tracking what are the benefits? So efficiency handles multiple calls simultaneously 24 seven. It can basically take up to 10 calls at the same time. 10, it can answer 10 calls simultaneously. So that's literally impossible for a human to do that. I mean, I could not answer two calls at the same time. I could not, I cannot talk with two people at the same time, but these AI voice agents that they can actually take up to 10 calls minimum at the same time. So yeah, it's a no brainer. Cost effectiveness reduces staffing costs by automating repetitive tasks. CRM integration automatically locks customer data into CRMs like Airtable, HubSpot, uh, human agent transfer. We can also create a function that will be able, that will help the AI voice agent to transfer the conversation in during the call to a human agent if that's necessary. Customer satisfaction provides instant accurate support that enhances user experience. So I think you guys got the idea by now how how useful it actually is. And so now I'll be jumping right into the tutorial. So if you're not, if you haven't used Vapi yet or before, then you can sign up to Vapi.ai, create a free account within two or three minutes. And then once you've created a new free account, uh, make sure you create a phone number over here. You can just create a free phone number by just selecting here. It just takes a minute. And once you've done setting up your phone number, now we can uh, create our voice agent. So this is the system prompt that I've built for the e-commerce store, which you guys saw in the demo. You can actually see the system prompt in the description down below, like I mentioned before. So it's a pretty big system prompt and I will not be able to go through this like word by word because it's going to take a lot, lot of time. But what I will do is I'll be explaining the sections such as the roles, the conversation flows, the way I've instructed the system prompt uh, or the bot to actually behave. The business information like how like how have i structured all this information so that you can create an ai voice agent that can answer questions seamlessly and handle every type of responses so we started off with the first message hello this is cole uh, from brightness store uh, how can i help you today see this is the first message that the ai voice agent will speak up when it receives the call so now we're starting off with the role section and what does a role mean? It basically means that uh, we are giving the agent a persona that you are this person at this company and your role is this, this and this and you will behave in a conversational manner in a professional tone. Okay, so you are an AI voice assistant for Brightness Store. Your name is Cole. You are friendly, professional and helpful. Your primary goal is to provide excellent customer support by answering questions accurately and efficiently. Right? So now let's head over to the conversation flow uh, this is where i'm giving a set of instructions in a step-by-step -step way like how should it actually uh, behave or talk in the conversations in during the calls so firstly it will greet the caller so for so firstly it will greet the caller warmly and identify yourself as brightness stores ai system and then listen carefully to the customer's square concern Determine the category of the question, provide a clear, concise response. This uh, instruction is very important because after all, we the AI will be speaking in during the call. So if the response is very lengthy, let's say four or five lines, then the uh, the conversation will sound, sound very unnatural and we definitely don't want that. So confirm if the an answer was helpful or if they need additional information and conversation politely, thanking the customer for contacting Brighton Store. Now, this is the business information section. So this is where you'll be inputting all the information about your business, such as all the general information, basically, such as the name of your business, uh, what type of business is it actu actually is, uh, which time are you guys open, the location, all of that. Now, contact information, this is where you put out all the con contact information. And then the social media accounts, sorry. Yes, yeah, social media accounts. So this is just for further details if the customers are in case interested. 
and then this is where i'm importing all the product service information over here now here there's basically information about three or four products but definitely uh most of your business will not have three or four pro products of course so in that case you can do is uh, send the information about the products to chat gpt and ask the chat gpt to actually organize all the information in a uh, in a structured way and then you can just uh, copy the information and paste it over here okay or what you can do is maybe connect that uh, connect the voice agent to a CRM and then the voice agent will be able to retrieve the information from the database That's for another video because it's a very technical process and it will take some time to build that up now policies and procedures uh, This is a return policy. I'm just providing all the return policy information over here the warranty information So if you guys can recall I asked uh, the voice agent that uh, Can you give me some information about your return policy? So it used this part of the prompt to answer my questions such as uh, we offer 30 days after purchase returns and uh, the, the processing time is five to seven business days all of that it answered from this part of the question from this part of the prompt and then this is the warranty information the shipping delivery i'm just uh, including all the general information over here some troubleshooting guidelines and of course from business to business this uh, sections will vary the information will vary this is why i've created a template which you can access in the description down below all right that uh, document you can also get a very comprehensive step-by-step -step guidelines so that you can build this out by yourself easily now here i've also added some frequently asked questions so that the ai voice agent knows how to answer each of these questions properly and in my own brand voice okay so this is some extra guidelines that i've provided so this is the response limitations part so you can consider this as some strict uh, guidelines that i'm providing providing the voice agent with so never make up information you don't have this is very important this instruction is crucial because it so if we ask an AI about some information which they do not have, they have the ability or they have the tendency to make up information out of nowhere. And we definitely don't want that in our business. Okay, We only want the AI to answer information which is uh, related to our business only. So don't discuss confidential business operations or financial details. Avoid making promises about future products. This is also very important. Now, if the conversations are getting a bit difficult for the AI voice agent, then it can also have the ability to transfer it to a to a human agent. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that in the next. Share customer data with other customers. Don't engage with abusive language, <laughs> and uh, handling difficult situations. So if a customer is upset, acknowledges their frustration, apologize for their inconvenience, and focus on finding a solution, you can actually customize each section of this prompt according to you, according to your needs, the, like the way you want the AI to behave. So yeah, you can just adjust this accordingly. You have the flexibility for that. So always prioritize customer satisf satisfaction while accurately re representing brightness towards products, services, and policies. Now I just came through this entire system prompt a bit because my main goal here was to explain, uh, teach you guys how to actually organize the information properly. I mean, I have included the template where the information is already organized. All you have to do is just fill out the information step by step. So if I can, if I go through the template over here, uh, just give me a moment. So as you can see that these are all the placeholder values over here. You can just place these values with your own business, with your own business information and you're good to go. All right. It's that simple. Now, which model should you guys be using? I would personally prefer uh, GPT 4.0 because it's the best for handling this type of calls. And these are pretty high use cases. These are pretty technical use cases and we want our uh, AI to be as smart as possible, right? So in that case, I would not recommend GPT 4.0 mini, uh, but GPT 4.0. And if you have other documents such as PDFs or maybe other files which you want the uh, the voice agent to be aware of that you can then you can add these files in the knowledge base and the ai will be able to access all the information from the documents which you have provided and then it will be able to use those information to answer the questions to your customers all right now for the transcriber i'm using nova 3 and you can also use nova 2 general nova 2 general is also pretty good and then for voice, I'm currently using Vapi. This is the new voice provider by Vapi. I used to use 11 Labs before. 11 Labs is also pretty good. They provide some premium voices. And using the right voice is uh, very important over here because we want our calls to sound, we want our voice agents to sound as natural as they can. So in that case, I would definitely recommend Vapi, 11 Labs, or Play HD. I mean, these are pretty good. So you can just play out with the voices over here. I mean, these voices are pretty realistic, but the one that you saw in the demo, at the beginning of the video, it was this one, the Harry uh, voice. Now, I'm not using any functions right now, but 
what are functions actually so these uh, functions are basically tools which you can connect which can help you connect with other applications such as your crm so let's say you want to get the data of a customer from your crm so in that case you can create a tool and connect this with me.com and then you can pull out information from a CR. If this interests you, you can check out my other videos. I have created a lot of videos using Vapi and Make.com on how you can create AI voice agents such as uh, lead qualification agents that can collect customer support information, that can collect uh, customer's information such as their name, phone number, and then store this into a CRM and also book appointments. I have lots of videos regarding these topics in my channel. You can just check them out if you're interested. Also, uh, you can turn on this enable end call function. This will make the AI voice agent more uh, smart, I'll say, because it gives it, it, it will basically give it the ability to actually end the call when necessary, right? So if we're using this enable end call function, then it's even more important that we use the GPT-40 model. It's also even recommended over here, right? Now, this is where you'll be providing the call forwarding number. So let's say if you want to transfer the call to a voice agent, to a human agent, then you can just input the number over here and then just place the number which you want to forward the call to. And then you'll be able to, the voice agent will be able to transfer the call seamlessly. Once you're done creating this voice agent for your business, so what you'll have to do is click on publish, of course, to save all the information that you just provided and then click talk with assistant so here you will have to talk with your assistant and see how how is it actually performing so if it's performing well then good news but if you're seeing any issues which is which will be very normal if you're building this for the first time and then you might have to change the system prompt up a bit so you'll have to tweak the system prompts here just uh, see which sections of the prompt might be responsible for the responses you're getting from the voice agent. So in that case, maybe you can also add some additional instructions over here. So let's say if your voice agent is giving out, giving you pretty lengthy responses, so what you can do is uh, you can add an extra instruction over here that make sure to be to keep your responses as concise as possible. Even though we have included an instruction already that it should answer the it should answer in a concise manner. The, as the system prompt is pretty large, it tends to forget some of the instructions which are in the middle of the prompt, okay? We may have to remind the AI regarding some of the instructions. We can include that instruction in the final instructions part over here, in that part of the prompt. So I hope it makes sense. Now once you're now once we're done doing all of that, you'll have to head over to phone numbers. Click on the phone numbers you just chose. So once you've created the phone number and you have selected the voice agent, you can basically call this number and the AI voice agent will pick up the call and you will be answered. You will be able to answer the call right away. Such as, as you can see, this is the phone number that I've created using my Vapi account. So if you call this number, uh, you'll be able to speak with my voice agent, all right? So this is it for today's video. And my main goal of this video was to help you guys understand how you can actually create an AI voice agent, a customer support voice agent for your business work quickly. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. And if so, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, then leave it down in the comments below. And also, if you're a business owner and you want me to build the solutions for you or for your business, then you can book a call with me in the description down below. All right. So that's it for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.